you like me to light a candle? What do I do? I light the candle. I say a prayer, and fate reveals your path. It's 500 for the candle and the ceremony. There's a 10% discount for cash, but Visa is fine. After watching a few episodes of Shut Eye, you might find yourself wishing, well, maybe that you spent the time catching up on a little bit of sleep. Because honestly, after a breakneck start, Hulu's December 7th debuting 10 episode drama about the scams and tribulations of LA storefront psychics and the Roma racket that runs the game in the cards becomes a bit of a snooze. Jeffrey Donovan, who is fantastic as a Midwestern crook on the most recent season of FX's Fargo, stars as a middling mind reader of sorts who wants to break out of the small scams for bigger and more lucrative things. Why the hell are you following me? with a roadside beating that may or may not have given ex-magician Charlie Hapford now really possessing paranormal powers, Donovan, his on-screen wife and fellow scammer and big mark seeker Linda, played by Katie Strickland, and their small chain of City of Angels fortune tellers are all under the thumb of the Isabella Rossellini Marx clan of Romas in the Les Bohem created series. Yeah, and it doesn't really work. And then add to that to make it work even less, Rossellini Rita's son's Fonzo, portrayed by Angus Sampson, is less heavy here than like a cartoon version of a thug better suited for a middle range De Niro comedy. Why can't you just have a normal job where people aren't trying to kill you? Then there's lines that no show should have, like, I want to make things right that the burn notice alum has to utter. And Shut Eye, well, it just ends up going around in a narrative cul-de-sac with its confused storylines of crime and conflict, the Havert's wayward and more predictable than a $40 tarot card reading teenage son, plus middle-aged, lower middle-class aspirations mixed with faded noir and surges of way too much ultra-violence. And from what I've seen, you soon lose the good feeling to snag a bit of psychic lingo that the opening minutes were brewing. Even when Charlie's real gangster client, played in many angles by Dexter David Zeta, is in the picture and adds some juice to the series, which is launching all at once, unlike most Hulu shows, the sugar, so to speak, it just doesn't say sweet long. Now, as anyone who has wandered past the neon lit windows of psychics promising insight and wondering if they're a front or what the real scam is that keeps them open, like Jade Stores, for instance, also, there is a good story in the idea of Shut Eye. You just can't see it in this show. 